Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this. So this lighting text animation is done entirely in After Effects and it's very easy to create. You can use any logo or text whatever you want, all this without using any third party plugin. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's go to composition. Let's click on new comp and I'm going to call this one main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate you can pick 30 FPS and duration you can set it to 10 seconds. So just click on OK. Now we are going to create another composition. So let's go to composition, new comp and this one I'm going to call this text or you can call this media because you can use logos in this example as well. Just click on OK. Now let's open up our media comp and under this I'm going to add a text. Now you can use any logo or whatever you want. So let's select the text tool and just click somewhere over here. Now let's type whatever you want. So I'm going to type speed and let's select this. Now I'm using this Montserrat extra bold font but again it's completely up to you. You can pick whatever font you want. Now let's quickly align this to the center and in case you are not able to see the align panel then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. Now let's select this and I'm going to move this anchor point to the center. So now to do that, hold down the control key and double click on this pan anchor tool. Now you can see that the anchor point is in the center. Perfect. So once you're done with this, you can play around with the scale as well. So I'm going to just make it a little bit smaller, just like that. So once you're done with this, let's go to the main composition. And under this, I'm going to quickly drag our media comp just like this. Now we are going to add some lines in order to create some lighting. So in order to do that, let's select the pen tool. After that, make sure that none of the layer is selected. Then you can just simply click somewhere around here and you can start creating a line, something like this. So you can just create it randomly however you want. And for this one, I'm going to set this to something like that. Now you can see that there is no fill. So you can just set the fill to none from here. And for stroke color, you can pick whatever you want. I'm going to pick this blue color. And for stroke width, I'm going to set this to 50 for now. We can play around with this later on. So now let's add some details to this. So in order to do that, let's open up the shape layer. First, I'm going to add some details to this. So for that, let's go under the add. And from here, you can see we have this zigzag option. So just click on that. Now we have added some details to our line. And let's add more details by simply adding another effect. So I'm going to add wiggle path. And now let's open this up. So for this one, we are going to play around with the size and detail. So size, I'm going to set this to something like 30 for now. And details, we can just probably lower this down. So I'm going to set this to something like 1. So now you can see that we have this sort of thing. Now if I press play, you can see that our light is moving as well. So we can control this speed by simply changing this wiggle per second. So I'm going to set this to a really high number, something like 750 or 800, whatever you want. Now if I play back here, you can see we have this lot more distortion. Now I think we have to add a little bit of more variation to this. So let's increase these spikes, something like that. Or maybe let's set this to something like 40 or 50 maybe. Yeah, I think this is looking fine. Correlation, we can set this to zero. Now we have our line. So before we proceed, a lot of you watching right now have not subscribed to my channel. And I want you to please do that because I want to hit 100k subscriber this year on my channel. So make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon. So let's continue. Now I don't like these ends, so I'm going to taper them off. So in order to do that, just simply open up the shape. And you can see that under the stroke, we have this option called taper. So let's open this up and I'm going to change the start length to 100 and the end length to 100 as well. So now you can see that we have this thin line and if I play back, you can see that it is moving as well. Now let's start animating it. So in order to do that, we are going to add a trim path. So let's close everything up after that, go to add and let's add a trim path. Now open up trim path and we are going to do a simple animation. Now in the beginning, I'm going to set the end to zero. Let's add a keyframe and let's move to somewhere around 15 seconds or 15 frames. Now let's set this to 100. So if I play back here, you can see we have this line moving, which looks good for now. Now we also want this to go back to zero. So now to do that, let's animate the start as well. So let's move a couple of frames ahead. Let's add a keyframe for the start. Let's move to somewhere around here and I'm going to change the start to 100 as well. So now we have both the keyframes. Now let's select all of them. You can press F9 or right click, go to keyframe assistant and easy ease. 
once you're done with this let's select the keyframes and let's open up the graph editor now in case your graphics looking different then make sure that you are in the edit speed graph not the value graph now let's select the endpoints and i'm going to tweak the curve so let's change this to something like this let's select these points and i'm going to change the graph to look something like that so now if i play back here you can see we have our light streak which is moving something like that now if you want to increase the gap between these two then you can select these keyframes and you can move this further apart something like that so now you can see we have this light and i think that this is looking perfect now we can create more copies of it but before that i want a little bit of more variation to this so for that on this i'm going to search for turbulent displays let's drag this onto this shape layer and over here we are going to change the amount so i'm going to set this to something like 80 and the size i'm going to lower this down to something like 20. now if i play back here you can see we have more variation in our light something like that so i think this is looking perfect now we can select this layer press ctrl d to duplicate this now you can see that we have these two layers and i'm going to quickly change its color so let's make this one yellow again colors you can pick whatever you want now let's select the pen tool and i'm going to add more variations to this so let's place it over here and i'm going to just make it something like this and just add more variations to your light something like that so now if i play back here you can see we have these two light streak which are looking good for me let's increase its length a little bit just like that now we can add more duplicate of these so let's select this press ctrl d and i'm going to just move this to the top somewhere around here let's play around with these points just move them randomly something like that looks good now let's select this one and press ctrl d once again and i'm going to move these points quickly to somewhere around here now if i play back here you can see we have these sort of lines now let's add some variations to this so for that i'm going to just simply select a couple of these so let's select these two so this one and this one and i'm going to add a little bit of delay to them something like that so now you can see we have these lines moving at different pace just like this you can add more delay something around here yeah i think this is looking fine so we are done with our lighting and our next step is to do a reveal animation on this text as well. So for this I am going to search for linear wipe and let's drag this and let's apply this onto the media. Now we can increase the completion a little bit. Now I want this to be on the opposite side so I am going to set the angle to nine, negative 90 something like that. Now let's start animating this so let's go to the very beginning and I am going to lower down the transition completion or increase it something like 80 now it's completely up to you if you have a longer text then you have to do it like 100 percent now let's add a keyframe and press u to see the keyframe and let's move to somewhere around here where we have our lighting something like that now i'm going to increase or decrease this value so that the text reveals so let's set this to something like 20 like that now you can see that our text is revealing and i don't want this hard edge so instead i'm going to add a little bit of feather just like that so now if i play back here you can see we have our text revealing and also i don't like this smooth reveal i want a little bit of distortion over here as well so in order to do that we are going to first create a new solid so right click new solid and just click on ok on this one let's search for fractal noise let's drag it over here and we are not going to play with any of these settings i'm just going to increase the contrast but if you want you can play around with different kind of fractal types and noises now let's place this at the bottom now we don't have to see this so i'm going to hide this one and let's select the media composition and on this one i'm going to apply a displacement map effect so let's search for displacement map and let's drag it onto this now first i'm going to change this to black solid which we just created make sure that this is set to effects and mask now we can play around with the horizontal and vertical displacement so now you can see that we have these very nice variations in our text something like that now you can see that it has completely distorted our text and i actually want this to distort only the edges so in order to do that i'm going to just simply enable this quickly 
and on this one we are going to apply linear wipe as well so just search for linear wipe and let's drag it over here now i'm going to quickly hide this and let's play around with the transition completion now you can see that the effect is applied only on the edges so we can control this further by simply animating this so again i'm going to go somewhere around here let's add a keyframe from for transition completion and i'm going to set this to something like 20 and let's move to somewhere we have our text revealed completely and i'm going to set this to 80 over here so now you can see that we have this text visible as our transition is happening something like that now i don't want this hard edge so again we can blend this by simply increasing the feather just like this so now if i play back here you can see we have this very nice distortion added to our text which looks perfect now we can add more details to this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this media and i'm going to press ctrl d to duplicate this now i'm going to duplicate this one more time and i'm going to add three copies of it now we can move these two top copies little bit something like that and let's search for fill and let's drag it onto this last one and i'm going to change its color to this blue color and let's select this fill and let's drag this to the middle one and i'm going to change it to yellow now if i play back here you can see we have added the colors to our distortion as well now we can do one more thing we can select everything let's press u to see the keyframes now if you want to add more distortion then you can move the keyframes closer something like this so now you can see that we have more distortion in the text just like that but for this one i'm going to just stick somewhere around here so i think this is looking perfect so we have everything still you can see that something is missing and reason for that is we want little bit of shake to this so it's very easy to do so i'm going to first create a null object so right click null object after that let's select all of these layers and let's quickly parent them to the null let's select this solid as well let's parent it to the null and on this null i'm going to apply a slider control so let's search for slider control and let's drag it onto this now i'm going to duplicate it one time so i'm going to select the slider control press ctrl d so that we have these two slider controls now i'm going to add a simple wiggle expression to the position of this null so let's select this press p for position now you can hold on the alt key and just click on the stopwatch now over here we can type the expression so let's type wiggle and under the curly braces we can just pick with this first slider control after that just add a comma now you can pick with the second slider control something like that so now if i click you can see that we have added our expression now we can animate it by simply adding keyframes over here so let's pick a point something like that let's select this press u to see the keyframes now in the beginning i'm going to set the first slider to 100 and the second one to 20. now let's go to somewhere we have our animation ending now i'm going to set both of these to zero so now if i play back here you can see we have added the shake as well now you can play around with these positions and you can just move it however you want so here you can see we have this very nice shake now you can play around with these parameters however you want but for this one i think these are looking fine we can probably play around with their position something like that so we are done with everything let's add some glow to this so in order to do that you can add a adjustment layer so right click new let's add an adjustment layer and on this one let's search for glow and let's drag it onto this now you can play around with the radius so i'm going to increase this little bit now decrease the glow intensity to something like 0.3 now select the glow press ctrl d to duplicate this now increase the radius and let's increase the intensity as well now let's select this press ctrl d once again and i'm going to increase this quite a bit let's decrease the radius little bit something like that so here you can see we have added the glow to this now you can play around with the threshold as well so you can just lower it down something like that let's select all of these shape layers and i'm going to just set them to add so that we have these nice glowing outlines something like that now i don't want this to have this glow throughout this so we can just probably add keyframes for the glow intensity so let's add intensity keyframes something like that now you can select the layer press u now let's select a point somewhere around here we can just set the intensities back to something like this 
and you can see that if I play back here you can see that we have this intensity animation so we are pretty much done with everything now let's quickly add a nice ground plane to this so in order to do that I'm going to create another composition let's call this one final now let's drag our main composition over here and we have everything just like this now we can select this press ctrl d to duplicate this now i'm going to select the bottom one and i'm going to make this 3d or we can make both the layers 3d as well so let's select the bottom one press r now i'm going to just rotate it along the x-axis something like that now we can place it below let's move it somewhere around here and let's uh, play with its angle something like that so now you can see that i have this texture image now i will put a link in the description from where you can download this for free or you can just use any texture you have so let's create a new composition for our texture let's call this texture and just click on ok let's quickly drag this image over here i'm going to just press r rotate it by 90 degree and it's quite big so let's make this smaller now on this one we can apply curves to control the highlights and details let's apply the curves and i'm going to add a really nice s curve so now you can see that we have these harsh details we can go back to our final composition let's drag our texture comp and let's place it below all of these layers we actually don't have to see this so i'm going to disable this one and on the ground layer we are going to apply an effect called compound blur so let's search for compound and let's drag the compound blur onto this layer now under this first I'm going to change the blur layer to this texture which we just created. Now you can zoom in and you can see that as I increase the blur amount now you can see that we are able to see the texture from this. So you can play around with these values and you can just make it however you want. So once you're happy with this if I play this up you can see that we have our animation and we have added the ground plane as well. Now there's one more thing you can probably select this glow adjustment layer and you can cut this out from here and you can just place it over here if you want something like that now you can see that we have this very nice glow and you can play around with the intensity of it so let's add a keyframe for opacity and let's lower this down something like that so here you can see we have this very nice reveal now we can also add a camera to this scene so layer new let's add a camera and this one I'm going to press P let's animate its position let's add a keyframe somewhere around here and in the beginning I'm going to let's just zoom in something like that so let's add this keyframe to the beginning now let's select the keyframes press F9 let's go to the graph and I'm going to make the graph to look something like that so here you can see now if I play back here you can see we have this very subtle zoom out animation and the text looks very amazing now you can play around with the zoom amount as well something like this and now if i play back here you can see we have this very nice zoom out animation and we are pretty much done with our animation also the best thing about this is that you can change the text all you have to do is just go inside the media comp and you can just replace the text and you can type whatever you want you can place any other logo and you can also change the colors of these streaks as well so here you can see we have the animation now you will notice that sometimes you will have to adjust the linear vibe so let's quickly select these and let's press u and over here i'm going to just increase the linear vibe amount so let's set this to zero at the end let's select this and i'm going to set this to zero as well and let's select this one and i'm going to set this to zero as well don't forget to change it on this solid as well so let's select this press u and i'm going to set this end value to 100 so now you can see we have this text reveal perfect so if i go back to the final composition you can see that everything is already applied and you have your animation so this is how you can create these kind of lightning text reveals so the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and in case you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one